short demonstration of some of the data from the DJI H20T in the thermal data in Scopito. So I've uploaded some example images. And first thing I'm going to do, well we can have a quick look at the type of data we're getting, that's nice. So the first thing I'm going to do is submit it for AI analysis. That's working now on the thermal images. And it takes a little bit of time, so I will probably speed up this section of the video. It's 10.51 now. I'll speak to you in a sec. So we can see some of our markers are going different colour and that's because the AI has detected a fault within that image. So it's working its way through. Right, it's been going about five or six minutes now and it's halfway through so let's see what it's found. Um, we've got diodes, hot spots. Diodes are always good to look at. Yep. Diode. And diode, diode. Exactly. So uh, let's move that inside this panel and we can measure some temperatures so we've got the average temperature in that annotation is 39 degrees lowest is 32 and the highest is 45 so the delta temperature is 13 degrees in that annotation and that's with the dji camera as well so it saves you having to use the dji um, proprietary software which is very um, clunky and sort of designed for single images rather than uh, batch images so it's not very scalable and um, the other nice thing about the uh, DJI camera is we can now estimate the size of the annotation thanks to the laser range finder on the DJI M300 so we've got the, the height and width of the module there which looks bang on to me 1.725 meters pretty good um, and the other nice thing that does is it places the geographical location on the actual subject matter as opposed to where the drone is so uh, pretty pretty good improvements um, all around there right hope that's of interest get in touch with any questions thanks very much bye bye